Mexico. They we'll come back to those in one sec because we're going to get things underway. Here goes. The Olympics on the line. Bender to kick off. It goes long. It's bobbled initially and gone forward off the hands. A little bit of swirling wind in the stadium maybe affected that. We've seen it with the kickoffs throughout the tournament. It is tough conditions. There's also some extra nerves in this one with an Olympic spot on the line. Five. Should, of course, acknowledge we are coming to you from the traditional lands of the Esquimalt Songhees and Beecher Bay people. And the Coast Salish peoples, thank you for letting us go and have a great celebration of rugby here in Canada. Mexico, good possession for them. See the around that she's been effective this weekend. They had a big victory, of course, against Jamaica. 19 points to 12 to get book their place in this final. Nice stop for them and the maturity here. The Mexicans slowing the pace down with an award or penalty. They're just going to kick it down the sideline. Really smart by Mexico. Canada's come out. They're playing with intensity. But once again, the penalties at the breakdown have hurted this team. Canadian tackle there. Both sides have been relatively lucky with injury, although we did see Chrissy Scurfield with a pretty unique taping on her nose. She took a blow in the last game. We'll keep an eye if she's available for selection. The fans are cheering because Canada's won the penalty through Sophie DeGoody yet again at the breakdown, winning the penalty, so Canada will have possession here. And for the Mexicans. And they've got options on this penalty. They're going to opt to kick it downfield. I like the option. Get into Mexico territory. Get themselves into a strong attacking spot. Yeah, good kick. And the crowd are loving everything Canada do at the moment. Canada, line is yours. Mexico line up there, also free from injury. Bender will be captaining the side. So, first line out. And with the lifting pod. Three lifters in sevens rugby and one thrower in. Clean ball. And away it goes. Out to the backfield, looking for the attack. Apps through the hands. Good step there. Two good steps. Three good steps. Now it goes wide to the pace merchant. Chrissy Scurfield, hat trick of last time against Mexico. First try for Canada. Beautiful set piece from Canada right off the lineup. Flo Simons had some work to do in the middle. But you get Chrissy Scurfield the ball with any kind of space and she knows exactly what to do. Flo evaded three or four defenders there before getting it out wide and Chrissy had enough room and did the extra work to get closer to the sticks. So our concerns over any injuries seem to be answered. She seems in full flight. Live apps as well, adding the two extra points if you're new to sevens rugby. Five for a try, two for the conversion. We have two seven-minute halves. Fast action, and these kickoffs are also important in these gold medal matches. This is one of the skills you have brought to the game. What's going through Livy Apps' mind right now? It's such a mental skill, kicking off. Everyone's watching you. You're front and center, but she did really <laughs> well. Put it on the money for Sophie De Goody once again. Now wide again. Grant is in space. She's got the mismatch in size, but she won't need it. Maddie Grant with the pace and the try. That is as good as it gets clinical off the kickoff which we've talked about Canada's been trying to find it and they've started well straight to Sophie de Goody who took the ball in the air look at this beautiful catch and then they go wide passes on the money flow again sets up and it's Maddie Grant on the outside this time well from Victoria BC with the Goody taking the kickoff to Cornwall Ontario take a bow your girls just scored a try. And that kind of sums up this team right now. They're clicking. They're all working together. Maddie Grant, the 22-year-old, a big moment. That's going to go back to it, and why not? The goodie has dominated on that side. Oh, nice height on the kick, but is it too far? The Goody can't get that ball back in play. In fact, it was out of play when she hit it. So it will be an attacking opportunity for Mexico midfield. <clears throat> Calling out the play. This will come straight from the training pitch. They're actually 10 yards 
further back, yeah. Get to go up to the halfway mark. So, quick tap from Tuyu. She gets it out to the power of Gondero. Not releasing, and Apps has been allowed to go. Quick tap, she's still going. The jersey grab stops her. Offload, fancy Bermudez. She loves that support line, straight in behind. What a nose for the try line. Fancy Bermudez, you can celebrate now. Beautiful work. Liv Apps checks herself out on the big screen, but she made the tackle. She got the turnover and got the team going again. It's a great offload because Fancy Bermudez got nice and tight to where Liv Apps was, and it was just a little pop off the ground. Fancy Bermudez's fifth try in the tournament, but her third time today when she's taken that direct, direct support line and hit it hard, and got the try as a result. For the kids watching at home, those support lines will get you points, so work on them. Keep watching. Fancy Bermudez is proving to be lethal in that position. She comes from the middle of the field and finds herself there often. Well, a great start from Canada. A loose ball there. This could be dangerous. Right to left again. Good chop tackle, though. Credit the Mexican defense in the form of Landeros, but there's overlap. Apps keeps it and then gets the right arm free. Matty Grant's gonna get the double. Well, they are absolutely rolling right now. Well, what a start. Sophie De Goody, Liv Apps, Matty Grant connecting time and time again. Look at the two, the big hug. Laps is going to look for the conversion, but a chance to go silent. What a buzz in the stadium. Kelson Figaro silent. How does it feel down there? At the moment, Canada very confident going into the break. They're up by a big score. But if you look at Mexico's dugout, they're content with the performance. And they really want to give a good show in here. The underdogs in this one. So we expect a lot more from Mexico come the second half. Great stuff. Thank you, Kelson. Well, that'll do it for halftime. A thunderous start from that Canadian team. They're leading Mexico at the break. Jack Hanratty leading the right act, talking about defense. Well, they haven't had to do much defense this game so far, but it is a piece they've been working on, and he wants to see the clinical performance on both sides of the ball. So the Mexicans haven't done much wrong, but Canada's just been lethal with ball in hand. Oh, what a great opportunity for all these athletes. We've been talking about it playing at home. It can only happen with the sponsors. The coverage presented by... Safeguard Global. They're here for the athletes. They're here for Rugby Canada. Thank you very much. Back here in Langford, Gareth Reese with Gislaine Landry, and uh, it's been a thunderous start from Canada. Olivia Apps and her team have dominated Mexico. Mexico will look to regroup to the half, see if they can get on the board. But right now, Canada with one couple of fingers on a plane ticket to Paris for the Olympics. They keep up this form. Seven minutes to go for the Canadians. They've stolen the ball. Fancy Bermudez, this time offloading. Great running. Hogan Rochester. Able to celebrate. Well, at halftime, Jack mentioned he wanted to see a clinical performance on defense. And anytime Canada's had a tackler in and they've been the one going to work in the breakdown, they've gotten the turnover. 
Bree Nicholas did it. Fancy Bermudas picked it up. And Asia, Asia Hogan Rochester puts it down. Gives the crowd a little pump in the air. They know how to celebrate. Nice job and apps again. Ruthless with the boot. Asia Hogan Rochester. Full of confidence. Great to see her fit and contributing here. Asia injured their ACL just over a year ago. This is their first tournament back with the Canada team. And what a tournament to come back for. 31 points on the board. App's still on the field. Now she's mixing up the kick. She saw some space in full flight. Asia Hogan Rochester, again, the left hand comes out. She can't get the offload, so App secures the ball. The goodie arrives, and there's still options out wide. Fancy Bermudez skips out. Great team play. Flo Simons gets just reward. And keeps the hurt coming for Mexico. I like the variation there from Canada. A little grubber kick off the kickoff. Good recognition. Asia knew it was coming. And it just set the team on the front foot to attack once again. Flo doing a little bit extra work there, having to get it down under pressure. Well, a conversation many moons ago in Hong Kong, former head coach John Tate and Flo's great family, great supporters of rugby, wondering if there was an opportunity to maybe put on the Canadian jersey one day. Well, looks like she may be taking that jersey to the Olympics. Three tries for the weekend to her name. Flo came to a training camp actually with Hong Kong and got recognized by John Tate. And she has been one of the up and coming stars of this Canadian team, a big future ahead of her and a great addition to have her in these games starting and playing so well. Olivia Apt gets a rest. Finally, some possession for Mexico. Oh, they've knocked it forward. Shame for Ortiz. So really nothing going their way. In a blustery, windy stadium right now. We should comment, we're being able to enjoy our sport here, but so much going on in this province, in the Northwest Territories, with the wildfires. We just wanted to, as well as our friends in Hawaii, just want to send out our, our best wishes to everyone. We, we realize we're very lucky to be celebrating sport when so many of you have got other more serious concerns on your plate. And of course, a huge thank you to all our first responders. Stay safe, everyone. Hopefully this little bit of Canadian joy and Olympic challenge will bring some lift to people who are working so hard. Canada striking the up attack again. Nice double move. The crowd liked it. Offload, out wide. Interplay like we haven't seen for some time. Canada, outstanding. Right off the training pitch. They've tried that move so many times that it hasn't quite come off. That must feel good for the Canadian team to put that one into action and get a try off of it at the end. Chrissy Skirfield came off her wing early, but it was all about the deception because they were going to come back with Chloe Daniels in Asia again. Conversion slides wide, but it's not really going to matter at this stage. We have something of a coronation. Asian Oregon Rochester has two in this game, and they are also going to do the kicking duties. And well off with injury, recovering from the ACL injury. They practiced their kick, they added it to their game. And here we are in a qualifying final match, taking kickoffs and kicking conversions. Loose ball. Well, gives us a chance. I just mentioned coronation. Jack Hanratty, head coach of the Canadian team. Uh, things are as you planned, sir. Congratulations. It's looking good. Yeah, it's, it, we started really well. Um, first time for this group to be in uh, such an occasion. So, uh, you know, a little bit of nerves there uh, in the warm-up, but the energy has been fantastic all day and all weekend. And how can you not get up for this with the, with the home line for crowd? And it looks, looks like the result is coming, the trip to Paris. You can't do this with 12 women or 14 women. 
tell us about who's contributed to this. No, we, like we, we've had 21 senior players and we've had 18 Maple Leafs all don the jersey over the last number of weeks. Uh, the preparation, it's not all been straightforward. It's, it's all, it, we've had our ups and downs, but I, it's such a credit to all the staff, to the people around the country, and then to all the Canadian uh, rugby players who have put their hand up for this program to to want to show that Canadian rugby is healthy in all codes of the game. And this is just one of those moments. Well, let me say it on behalf of the Canadian public, with all the programs been through, with COVID and all the issues, Jack Hanretti, Kevin Rue, your assistant, Josh Valio. Congratulations, things are looking good. You're about to give Canada a very nice moment. Thank you very much, Gareth, and thanks to everybody for the support, Rev. Jack Hanready, head coach of the Canadian women's team, who have ball in hand and have been clinical here in the qualifier final up against Mexico. So unselfish, these players just land. They're just looking after each other out there. This has been the best game that they've played throughout this tournament, and what a moment to do it. The score lines throughout have been amazing, if anyone's been paying attention. But this is a clinical performance for Canada. And this is what they've wanted to do to show the Canadian community and to rugby community that they are back, they are ready, and they are prepared for the big year ahead. Well, just to sum it up, Sophie De Goody just showing great basics, drawing the defender and then hitting Asia Hogan Rochester to get their hat trick. But it's been a team performance. And just then you entered this program when things weren't, wasn't the support around. You've been playing rugby for a long time in this country. To sum up, when this crowd goes nuts with about 15 seconds to go, what does it mean and, and why is it so important for you, especially young women around this country? Yeah, when I started playing sevens for Canada, rugby wasn't even in the Olympics. And here we are on the verge of qualifying for our third Olympic Games as the Canadian women's sevens team. And so much work and effort and time and energy goes into preparing for this stuff and to put yourselves in these positions. So these players should be proud. Anyone that's been involved over the last number of years should be proud because what they're doing now is a credit to what's come before and is setting up the next generation as well. Of course, that Canadian celebration coming, but credit Mexico as well. They booked a place in the Olympic Repechage final, and they will have some time to work ahead of 2024 when that competition's on. And they brought their piece here, and we thank them for everything they brought to the Rugby America's North Olympic qualifying. But right now, it's Canada going through the hands again from right to left. They've been pretty clinical. Stepping out of the tackle. Sherfield going to get her. Just waiting for the statsman to write two digits down. 12th try of the weekend. That's a beautiful moment. They know it. Congratulations, Canada. I suppose there's some nervous energy as well. It was all built up them to have success. But there's always that nagging thought in the back of your mind if you can't get it done on home soil. Anything can happen in sevens. That's the beauty of the game. That's why we love it so much. But this team has been dominant throughout the weekend. And here comes the entire team celebrating together. You'll see some of the injured players running on as well, joining. They're all part of this program, part of the celebration, part of the work and preparation that goes into it. And it's something these players dreamed of, is to go to the Olympics. Look at what it means. Congratulations, Canada. You have booked your ticket to Paris for the Rugby Sevens competition in 2024. It's more than a team, it's a family out there. Well done, Mexico. This is Canada's moment. All sorts of ex-players, current players, up-and-coming players, family, they're all joining in the celebration. Some of these players, this is their first cap. Some of them not even capped yet. And some of them have been around for a long time and have been through so much with this program. It brings me great joy to see them out there celebrating with each other. Jack standing back, taking it all in. What a moment for him. He came in at a very tough time with this program as well and has done so well to bring the team back together.